What's up, math peeps? This is Mr. Maestas, and I am going to talk about finding the sum of an arithmetic series. And then a little bit also, I'm going to talk about some what we call sigma notation. So um, here we go. Let's talk about first what a series is. Now, a series, a series is the sum of a sequence. So in the last video, I went over a sequence, which is just, you know, kind of a string of numbers with commas in it. And a, a series is if you actually add up all those. So here's the difference between a, what's going on with my pen here, between a sequence, just a bunch of numbers with a comma, and a series with pluses, right? The sum of them. Now, it's arithmetic because to get to the next term, we would add three, right? Add three to get to the next term. Um, it has nothing to do with the plus here. The series is just a plus. The, the arithmetic part, it lets me know that I can just add a number to get my next term. We did that in the last video. Let's take a look at some examples, shall we? We shall. Oh, uh, you know what? The first thing I was going to tell you was, uh, <clears throat> so we've got kind of a nifty way to add up all these numbers, all right? Um, and that nifty way was, was, you know, that fig was figured out by a, actually a little kid a long, long time ago. <coughs> so, um. On another video I have on arithmetic sequences series, I tell you about that little story and how that story that story comes about. Um, um, but in this case, I'm just going to kind of show you, and you can watch the other video to see the story. Um, so here's what you do: if you add the first term and the last term, you add those together. In this case, you get 18. If you add the next term and the next to the last term, you also get 18. Turns out, if you keep doing that. You're gonna get that same number each time. Well, that's kind of cool. So what you would do is you take 18, right? One, two, three, there's four of them. And you would take 18 times four and you get your, your sum. Well, 18 turns out to be the first term, the first term plus the last term. And four turns out to be the number of terms, eight of them divided by two. So we get this kind of nifty formula where we're gonna take the first term and the last term add them together and then multiply by half of the number of terms right in this case n over 2 so here is the formula s of n s of n meaning the sum of the arithmetic series is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n and I think I described what each of those were already so let's take a look at it I don't know Let's take a look at an example. All right, so find S of n for arithmetic series in which d is equal to 5, n is 16, and a sub n is 72. So our sum, S of n, is n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. All right, we want to find <clears throat> the sum. We have n, which is 16. We have a sub n, which is 72. What we do not have is a sub 1. So we do need a sub 1 in order to solve this thing out. So we got to go back to our first formula that we talked about in the first video, which was a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, right? This gives us any term. So we're going to use this to solve for a sub 1. So 72 equals a sub 1. We don't know what that is. n is 16 and d is 5. All right, so we're going to solve this out, <clears throat> 15 times 5, which is 75, gosh, these fives, and then subtract by 75, both sides, and a sub 1 equals negative 3. So now I have a sub 1, I could plug it in over here to find my s of n. All right, s of n now is n, which was 16 over 2 times a sub 1 which I found was negative 3 and a sub n which was 72 and I'm gonna do the math What's that? 69 times 8 69 is 552 alright let's take a look at another one actually why don't you practice one so this is just as just like the one I did alright so why don't you do the same same thing I did for this one actually I already gave you a sub 1 so it's even easier okay but you're going to have to find a sub n, though. All right, go ahead and do that. Here's your answer. Oh, did you get that? Pretty good. Let's go on. 
<coughs> find the sum of the arithmetic series. So now we have the series here. Um, we know a sub 1 is 38. We know a sub n is 2. But do we know what n is? Do I know how many? It's not, it's not 4, guys. It doesn't go 38, 35, 32, then all the way to 2. All right? There, there, there's a, a, an n number here. we got to figure out what that is. So we don't know n. Because remember, our formula looks like this. And, you know, we're close. We've got these two. We just need n. So we're going to use our first formula again. a sub n equals a sub 1 <coughs> plus n minus 1 times d. And again, if you're wondering, where, Mr. Maestas, where are you getting that formula from? Um, I'm getting that formula from d here is negative 3 here because we're subtracting 3. I'm getting that formula from the video that I did last time. All right, you, sh you should have watched that video. It was on arithmetic sequences. 41 minus 3n. All right, so we're going to get n equals 13. So now we can plug in. Sn equals 13 over 2 times... Uh, a sub 1, which was 38, plus a sub n, which was 2. So we get 13 over 2 times 40. 2 goes into 40 20 times. 20 times 13 is 200, 260, I believe. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Why don't you try one just like it? <clears throat> same work, guys. Same same work. You got to try some of these. You got to try them out, right, to, to really know how to, how to do them. You can't just keep copying things down because, um, you know, math is not a spectator sport. You can't just sit there and watch and then know how to play. Um, you got to watch and practice. All right, there you go. Let's try um, a few more here, and then we're, we'll be all done. Find us some. Okay, so now... This thing's going to go all on and on. We're going to go 23 terms. So what is n? n is 23. Right. a sub 1 is 16.3. Uh, what's d? What's d? Well, to find d, we're just going to take 21.4 and subtract 16.3. Because if we just subtract, we're going to get how much I had to add to get to the next term, right? So what's 21.4? <clears throat> minus 16.3 using my calculator on the side it's 5.1 okay so now I have D I have a sub 1 I have n I need a sub n which is a sub 1 plus n minus God, you're saying man my s is that formula again come on what are you doing with that formula well we got to use it right that's the one we have to keep using all right, 16.3 plus 22 times 5.1. And probably some of you are saying to yourself, this is my essence. This is a lot of work. Well, you know what? Sometimes we got to work. Okay, 128.5. Okay, so now that I have a sub n, now I can go get my sum. Okay, n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So n here is 23 divided by 2 a sub 1 was 16.3 plus a sub n was 128.5 put that in our calculator bada bing bada boom we're gonna get I'm putting in my calculator here 1 6 1665.2 <clears throat> equals by the being all right i guess there's just one more um oh si i forgot to mention sigma notation so um sigma notation guys this is just an easier way to write a sum all right this is a, a this is a greek letter sigma and this would be the first value right here in the first this is the first value of n and then i plug this in here and i get four plus two which is six that would be my first term 
and then I'm going to keep going until I get to the last value of n. So n equals 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8. So now I'm going to plug 5 in here, and I'm going to get <coughs> 5 plus 2, which is 7, right? So then I'm going to get 6, and I'm going to get 7. And then my next term, I'm going to plug 6 in here, and I'm going to get 8. Then my next term, I'm going to plug 7 in here, and I'm going to get 9. And then the next term, I'm going to finally put 8 in here. Oops, for n, and then I'm going to get... 10. And then this is my series, all right? So it's just another way of writing a series much shorter, okay? N is not a number. Uh, it's not the number of terms, all right? It's, it's kind of like the index in this case. Sometimes in some books, they like to use I so that you don't get confused I and N. So let's take a look at one example here. Find the sum of the arithmetic series. So what you could do is you could plug in 3, all right? So we're going to get 2 times 3 plus 7, which is 6 plus 7, which is um, 13, right? Okay, that's our first term. Now we're going to plug 4, then 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 9, then finally 10. So we plug 4 in, and we're going to get 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15, right? And then we're going to plug in 5 in. Okay, 4 in then, and now 5 in. 2 times 5 plus 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. Okay, we kind of see a pattern here, right? They're going to add by 2 each time. So let's plug in our last one in, 10. 2 times 10 plus 7 is 20 plus 7, which is 27. So our last term is 27. How many terms do we have? We have 3 to 10, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 8 terms. I plugged in 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 terms. All right, so n is 8. a sub n is 27. a sub 1 is 13. Let's use our formula. 8 over 2 times 13 plus 27, which is 4, 4 times 40, which is 160. All right? So there's our answer, and that's how we do them with arithmetic series, all right, with sigma notation. I think that is, a, actually, this is the end, last practice one for you. Try that out. Plug them in, guys. This is much easier if you just plug them in, all right? 5, then 6, then 7, then 8, then 9. You keep plugging in until you get to 17. There's your answer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there. <clears throat> and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.